Ja. There was a bit of a, a red ant situation, but Sam's okay now. They <laughs> love me. They're Ow. buggers. It's very hot today, it's extremely humid, so we're just absolutely sweating. But we have arrived at Sarana Bangalore's. And a little fun fact we discovered on the drive here is Christine stayed here next door eight years ago on a month or backpacker trip with all the drunken 21 year olds. Yeah, so I stayed at a place called Mac Bay's Resort and we stayed in a little bungalow when I was 20 years old and I'm now 29, so it's extremely weird being back to a place that I've visited. I think anyone feels like that. If you go back somewhere where you had such fun memories of, it's very bizarre. So yeah, feeling a little bit emotional, I guess, but yeah, I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> Got our 7 Eleven iced macchiatos, and Sam's made another friend. again but this time we're trying to find a night market that is close by so we'll see how successful we are. We can hear the music. this morning and went for a nice walk on the beach which was really amazing. Had a coffee from our restaurant which was nice and went for a swim in the pool. Me and Sam played ping pong for a little while. Now we've just come for a walk on the beach and as you can see it is absolutely beautiful. Turn this way. Hey Sam. <laughs> okay. Hot Sam. And unfortunately the sea is hot and the pool and the pool's hot. <laughs> And a margarita. So we've got katsu curry, very nice. I'm gonna get a chocolate shake after this. Very nice. And we've just come back from the 
vintage market, is it called? Yeah. Vintage market with this like little food store. So katsu chicken curry, mm -hmm. eight and a half out of ten. Oh, lightning. Um, pizza, 6.4 out of ten. Yeah. Can't quite get the pizza right. <laughs> and the sauce is a bit bland and the cheese is like... Uh, it's just not much lower. Um, and the dough is all right, but yeah, still, still reaching for a seven out of ten pizza, so we'll keep searching. <laughs> which is our next destination but yeah so far we'll love it our shadow for the week So far, we are at a place called Pang Waterfall, which is the closest waterfall to where we're staying. Uh, <clears throat> oh, my throat. <coughs> oh, golly. Um, and we've watched. Oh, God. That's better. We just went to a place called Zoo Cafe. A nice coffee, uh, but they have loads of cage animals, so yeah, we're a big fan of that. <laughs> Sign you love to see. Poisonous oh. wood. <laughs> Centipedes, poisonous scorpions. We have seen one of them in Kopipi. And spiders, which we had a baby trench on yesterday. So that'd be fun. Getting spook scared every five minutes and walk over a twig. <laughs> so I can't call Christine by a full name, otherwise she thinks I'm wrong. Yes. <laughs> Jumping out on you. Enjoying the rain, Sam? Well, we've had a bracelet, though, it's not all the time, but yeah, never happened before. But I mean, we've always had rain on the bike. It's been 10 seconds, and when it's rain like this, we've been inside and waited it out. But this is where we got stuck in it, so you can't avoid it. <laughs> We are done with Copenhagen. We've been here for a week. Uh, we didn't really record anything. We didn't really do anything other than relax and chill. We went out once and we got caught in the rain, so we gave up. Uh, we saw a really nice waterfall, went for a nice walk. So a really weird worm. Um, and now we're on to Koh Tao to scuba dive. Sorry for the wobbly camera, but I'm carrying like a mule. And so is Christine. <laughs> yeah? So yeah, we'll update you once we've uh, checked in and uh, on board the boat. 
So our boat leaves at one o'clock and then we should arrive in Koh Tao. It says actually at three, but I thought it was only an hour, but yeah, we'll see. We are very excited and scared for our scuba, which starts tomorrow. So we've got one night basically just of peace and then three days of stress. scuba and stress. <laughs> today and we start our open water diving course so it's through SSI and by the end of the three day scuba certified which is really exciting so we've got a one hour class today starting at 10 30 and then we get changed into our swimming stuff and then we head straight to the boat where we will get into the water and try some techniques I guess very basic ones to start off with we've done section one and section two of the open water course on the SSR platform where we had to do two uh, sort of like tests and yeah we're, we're excited and also really scared um, but we'll see how we get on and we'll check in as much as we can excited but nervous <laughs> yeah we'll see if anybody's gonna fail, it's gonna be me, so. Don't be silly, we'll be fine, I promise. We fell together. <laughs> and uncomfortable the first part of day one which is like the skills i think you get quite claustrophobic and quite sort of like tense and you panic a bit not panic panic's the wrong word you can get, get a bit fed up really you want to keep swimming because you're like kneeling down for like half an hour then you start swimming for about 15 minutes which is really good and you felt a lot better so they then both instantly felt positive we went back on the boat had a coffee uh, went to a second dive spot where we said we we're going to 10 meters but this is where i was starting panicking because i know my ears are going to cause you problems so we went down and then we went straight to like this rope where we go down to 10 meters. Now, thankfully, Nacho is a really patient instructor and he allowed me to sort of go back up and down, up and down from like three meters to five meters to get my ears to pop. Eventually they work, patience. After our day of diving, we're headed for this famous restaurant here on Koh Tao called Mama Pirwan. Highly recommend it. As you can see from my face, we were absolutely shattered. We had our usual pad thai and chicken masaman and then went straight to bed. Day number two. <laughs> uh, going to 15 years later for today. Yeah. Um, and doing some rescue emergency uh, skills and drills in case you run out of air at 18 meters, etc. We're going to practice that. And the second dive today, I think it's going to be more about diving with the fishes. Uh, and then tomorrow, we're doing an afternoon, two dives, and then we take a test tomorrow. So in total, there'll be three, three days diving, four nights at this accommodation. And tomorrow we get to celebrate with a barbecue. Yay. And the <laughs> test apparently is all the answers on the app, so I feel a little bit better. Yeah. We can do this. We're nervous. <laughs> my ears have pops has been come out of the surface. I've learned a new technique how to pop my ears. So I hope that works. I'm gonna sneeze that. <coughs> She's allergic to uh <laughs> <You>. <laughs> We've got the GoPro today, so should be some footage.
complete it. Well, Christine and I pass. What an experience we had on Kotal learning how to scuba dive with DPM Diving School, who we cannot recommend enough. If you are thinking about coming to Kotal and you are looking for a diving school, then DPM is the place to be. We met so many incredible people during our time on Kotal, and we just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who we met that made our time on Kotal even more enjoyable than it already was. Next stop was Bangkok, but first, jump on for one night to recover. So me and Sam are full of a cold after our scuba diving. We are now on our way to Champuan bus station and we're going to be getting a bus at 12 o'clock to Bangkok and we arrive at about 7 o'clock. Sam booked a VIP 35 seater bus and yeah we're looking forward to getting to Bangkok full of a cold and hopefully it disappears by the time we get there. <laughs>